Hi, my name is Dr. Jim Norman from the Norman Parathyroid Center in Tampa, Florida. This instructional video discusses parathyroid glands, what they are, and what they do. This is one of the most fundamental videos and something that everybody with parathyroid problems should understand. In another video, we discuss the importance of calcium in our bodies. To summarize from that video, humans, like all mammals, have a very advanced nervous system that uses calcium as its electrical energy. We use calcium to run the electrical systems of our bodies, to conduct electricity along nerves, and to make muscles contract. Our bodies were designed to have blood calcium levels in a very small, normal range, between 9 and 10. Let me illustrate that for you on this pad and paper. Here I've drawn an axis of the serum calcium levels, the blood calcium levels, between 8 and 11. All of us adult humans live somewhere in the 9s. We all live with calcium levels in the mid-nines. We don't live in the eights. We don't live in the tens and the elevens. The parathyroid glands, as we'll discuss in a little while, make sure that your calcium levels are in the nines, not the tens and elevens, and not in the eights. So back to the question, what are parathyroid glands? The parathyroid glands are little glands of the endocrine system. We all have four of them, not three, not five, but four. They're normally the size of a grain of rice, and they're usually located behind the thyroid gland. The prefix para means around, so they are really called the around the thyroid glands. This is a model that I have of the, of the thyroid in the voice box. I use this uh, model in, with my patients, and I use this model in a number of our videos. This, this model sits right here with the larynx, voice box, and the thyroid gland. Behind the thyroid gland are the parathyroid glands. These four little yellow dots by the size of a grain of rice, these are the parathyroid glands. That's where they're located. We all have four of them, and they are the ones which control the calcium in our blood. It is the job of the parathyroid glands to regulate the amount of calcium in your blood. These little glands monitor the amount of calcium in the blood and make hormone as necessary to increase the calcium or decrease the calcium. The best way I can explain this is to use the thermostat in your house as an example. The thermostat in your house turns on and off hundreds of times per day to keep the temperature in the house at a set point, within a few degrees. You don't think about it very much. You set the temperature and you walk away. The thermostat monitors the temperature and turns the heater or air conditioner on and off hundreds of times per day to keep the house within a few degrees of the temperature you set. The parathyroid glands do the same thing. They turn on and off hundreds of times per day to keep the calcium in the blood in a very normal range. And the set point for calcium in an adult humans is in the mid nines. For you to understand how parathyroid glands control calcium, you must know that we store lots of calcium in our bones. I'm gonna draw a picture of a bone so you understand how this works. This is a bone. We store calcium in our bones. Our bones are hard, they're very dense because we have calcium in them. So we store thousands of millions of little molecules of calcium in there. Our parathyroid glands, we have four of them in our neck. They're about this big, size of a grain of rice. These guys are constantly measuring the amount of calcium that's in our blood. And they'll make hormone to make sure that the calcium is the right. If the calcium in the blood goes down, these things make more hormone and take calcium out of the bones. When the calcium comes out of the bones, the calcium in the blood goes higher, these parathyroid glands sense it and they turn off. So if your calcium in your blood is high, your parathyroid gland should be turned off. Just like if it's hot in your house, the heater better turn off. If your calcium is low in your blood, then the parathyroid glands will turn on. Just like if it's too cold in your house in the winter, your, your thermostat better turn on and start making the heat. So wherever the calcium is, the parathyroid gland has to be doing the opposite thing. If the calcium's too low, the parathyroid glands make hormone. They make hormone, which takes calcium out of the bones and puts it in the blood. That's where the calcium comes from. Parathyroid disease, as you will learn later, 
is when one of these glands becomes a tumor. It makes far too much hormone and too much calcium comes out of the bones. You get way too much calcium in your blood. That's hyperparathyroidism. We'll talk about that in another video. Thank you.